In Sri Lanka, journalists scuffle with police while protesting the killing of a newspaper editor in Colombo in January. Some human rights groups accuse the Sri Lankan government and its allies of being behind the death. The director of Somalia's largest media company was killed on the streets of Mogadishu by three masked gunmen while talking to several reporters last February. His former boss was killed two years earlier. The cases illustrate the risk international journalists face every day. 27-year-old Somali journalist Mustafa Haji Abdanur knows firsthand what it's like to work in one of the most dangerous countries for journalists. If you get intimidation every day and you get some people who call you, ask you just what you're doing is not good, then that's risk. So uh, even if I know that I'm taking risks and it is very dangerous to be a journalist in Somalia, I'm still, you know, devoting and I need to be a journalist. Abdanur is one of several reporters and editors the Committee to Protect Journalists is honoring with an International Press Freedom Award. Executive Director Joel Simon. So we're trying to shine a light on these abuses to try and expose the repressive practices of these governments and by doing so provide both an emotional lift, but also real support for these journalists working under very difficult conditions. Another reporter being honored for her work is Nazia Rajiba from Tunisia. Rajiba is the editor of an online news journal that the Tunisian government is blocking. She explains how the Tunisian government has made it difficult for her to do her job. If I need to receive or obtain certain certificates or licenses from the government, that's very difficult. It's very hard to reach uh, the sources of information. It is, um, there's a lot of obstacles using technological tools such as the internet and the telephone. Uh, and we do try as uh, journalists constantly to kind of circumvent these obstacles, to find ways to, to still do our job. And if we didn't, no voice would be heard out of uh, Tunisia. Two other journalists who won Press Freedom Awards this year from Sri Lanka and Azerbaijan are both serving lengthy prison sentences on terrorism charges in their countries. The Committee to Protect Journalists says the violence and intimidation against reporters forces many of them to quit their jobs or flee their homelands. Mustafa Haji Abdanur says with the escalating violence in Somalia, many local and foreign journalists are leaving. If I became one of the journalists that leave the country, that means there are only few that are left in the country now. And if the few left the country, that means there is no news in Somalia. So in order to avoid this, I prefer to remain in my country and to, to, to keep you know, uh, doing what I'm doing. The Committee to Protect Journalists says by honoring these reporters and editors, it encourages and inspires other members of the media to keep doing their jobs despite fears of violence. Chris Simpkins, VOA News.